Hi everyone, my name is Clyde Souza, and in this video, we'll take a look at a Miroverse template called the writing process. And now I've put together this template because I have been through this writing process informally before I created this template uh, and then obviously formally after I created this template. Now, whether you're writing a uni assignment or whether you're writing a thesis or, or an article or a blog article um, or any sort of writing process, really, you know, any form of writing process, uh, I think everyone goes through a particular process and, and using this Miro template, I've tried to capture a form of process uh, and I completely understand that it might not be you know, a, a one size, a, a one template fits for all. Uh, but if you do follow a process in something similar, then I do encourage you to uh, make a copy of this template and use it the next time you sit to write something uh, or, or you sit and have an idea to write something uh, and, and use this template and let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the writing process template. So now when you copy this template to your Miro account, you will get the template, the blank template and an example. So let's just take a look at the example and, and what we have over here. So we start off with the topic. Now when you obviously the, the template is blank and you can just add posted notes to it. Uh, but this is the example that we're looking at and hence things are already written down. Now you can write the topic of uh, or you can potential different potentially you might have different titles that you are playing around with uh, or maybe slightly different topics that you're playing around with and if that is the case you could write it over here until you finalized it or you could even use different templates for different topics and keep them completely separate so anyway once you've decided a topic uh, you can pick that from this section so it's nice visible and you know what topic you're actually working on and what you have finalized and then to the right you have a deadline i think this is quite important because most of the writing material that you might you might end up doing comes with a deadline either a hard deadline or a soft deadline but it does uh, and if it doesn't it is good to put a deadline yourself so that things get done. So there you go. Add a deadline over there so it's nice and visible and it is a different color. It is red in color so it's 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 actually quite visible as well. Uh, and then on the left you have a to-do board uh, because you could have things in backlog, things in progress and things uh, that are already done. And if you have been using things like Trello, you would uh, be quite used to managing managing little cards of, of your to-do items. And I thought let's keep a section here so that you can manage all of that just in line within the template itself. Uh, so this is nice visible, uh, visible list of items that need to be done, uh, are in progress and have been done. Uh, and then a very important section called research uh, is where you would uh, add posted notes to capture the various places that you have been doing research from. So it could be uh, other reference to other articles, reference to other sources, uh, so many things. You know, when we when we start writing, you have inspirations from so many places. You have actual research from so many places. Everything can be accumulated in one place so that you don't lose it anymore. So you don't have to create bookmarks in your browser. Just use this Miro template, uh, and everything sort of is contained within one template. Uh, and as part of the research, you could also uh, maybe you might also do uh, user interviews uh, and you might want to add some notes about the user interviews or link uh, or links to uh, a document which contains or, or a video which contains the actual interview itself. And then on the bottom left, uh, towards the bottom left, you have a section for the title and subtitle. Now, this is once your topic is finalized and once you know what you're going to write, uh, you have uh, uh, you have some uh, your room to play around with uh, how you would frame your title, how you frame your subtitle. Uh, and of course, you have to think about so many things like, you know, is 
is what I'm writing, clickbaity, uh, is what I'm writing, SEO friendly, search engine friendly, uh, and so many of those things. Uh, so it's, it's good to have a space where you can play around with different titles uh, and then of course pick the one that you like the best. Now, an article or or, or any, other, uh, any other textual content might also have images. Uh, and if you do find an image, find find the actual image, copy the image, and then place it in Miro, uh, and then add a link to that. So this way, you you save the image as well, uh, but you also save the source uh, from where you're copying uh, the source of the image, which. Uh, in, in articles, for example, it's, it's really important to add a source to the image. Uh, and then to the right, uh, you might have sent your written textual content to, to, to people for review. Uh, and they might have uh, given some feedback, uh, which you can make a note of over here. Uh, and some of them you might have actually incorporated, uh, which you can just move the post-it note to the incorporated section uh, and, and some feedback you might have discarded for uh, maybe a very good reason. Uh, and so you can you can place that post-it note here and also maybe include a reason why you discarded. So when you reference this back later, uh, you will know why you, why you what was the reasoning behind incorporating certain feedback and discarding certain feedback. Uh, and then on the left over here, you have tags and keywords. Again, this is, this is uh, quite sort of blog oriented. Um, and, and, and you might want certain tags, certain keywords, certain hashtags to keep in mind, uh, maybe something is trending. So you might want to quickly make a note of it. Uh, and then of course you have different options, different places where you can publish it. Uh, now you may have one, uh, destination for publishing, or you may have multiple destinations to publish it. It is good. To, to make a note of it here so that you have it very clear where this text piece is going to go. Uh, and then finally, uh, just writing alone is not enough. You also have to promote your piece. Uh, and this is where you can uh, make some notes on how you might go about promoting your article or your your uh, writing written material uh, and so do make use of this uh, this is all there is to this template do make a use of it the next time that you're writing something uh, and let me know in the YouTube comments below what you thought of this template now if you do like this template give this a like over here and do even share it with your network do tag me in your uh, posts my social media handles are in the youtube description below uh, and of course don't forget to click this blue button to actually copy this template across to your miro account that's it for this video do give it a thumbs up uh, comment down below and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos to come. Thanks for watching. See you next time.